of the Green Pleasure Pier, this was traditionally the recreational pier for Catalina. If you go way back to the late 1800s, early 1900s, there was the Green Pleasure Pier, this pier, basically this pier, and there was a large wharf, and the large wharf was where the, uh, the ships came into Catalina, the Great White Steamer and other ships they had over the years. And that brought the people to Catalina, all the tourists. But this pier here was the recreational pier. And on the pier, it would be lined with boxes for all the different uh, commercial fishermen and the guys who ran the boats for the tourists that came out wanting to go fishing. Catalina really in Avalon is a birthplace in many ways of sport fishing in America. Frederick Holder came along. He wrote story after story after story about how great the fishing was at Catalina, and stories about the big tuna, about the yellowtail, about marlin. They built a tuna club over here, and Avalon was the center of that important birth of sport fishing in America. Green Pleasure Pier was where the boats were at, where if you wanted to rent a boat and take it out to go fishing, this is where you came, the Green Pleasure Pier. So it's always been the center. And I first fished it actually <laughs> uh, last night of my honeymoon. Uh, I came here and fished on it. I brought my kids here when they were about seven or eight years old. And then starting in 2002, we had a series of get-togethers out here. My group, PierFishing.com, PierFishing California. And then later, uh, United Shore and uh, Pier and Shore Anglers of California. We meet here every year, have a big get together. Wonderful fishing. It's limited space now out at the end. It used to be 30, 40 years ago you could fish along most of the pier. Now you just have a small little area out at the end. Um, so you have to kind of know what you're doing. And you got to be careful because there's all kinds of ropes in the water and chains and all that kind of stuff. But if you know what you're doing, you can still catch a tremendous number of fish. Big opali, half moon, uh, lots and lots and lots of small kelp bass, uh, sheephead now and then, uh, illegal Garibaldi will inevitably uh, grab your hooks and you'll, you'll hook a couple of them. Some years, mackerel, occasional yellowtail, very rare, but, but I've been out here sometime, I've been fishing, I've looked down into the water. Here would be a 150 or 200 pound giant sea bass just swimming right along as clear as possible. The water here at the Green Pleasure Pier is crystal clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. And it's always amazing when you see a huge giant sea bass come just swimming along. Or one day we saw a bat ray that we all estimated had to be close to 150 pounds. It was so wide, just swimming right along the bottom. And uh, Next morning, matter of fact, I hooked a big bat ray and it tangled up on the bottom and lost him. It. It huge bat ray down. There. So, great pier for fishing. Tim Catalina, you're going to see the green pleasure here. Bring your rod and reel, bring it out to the end out here, and try to catch some fish. It's not a big pier, small pier, doesn't take a lot of people, but it's a lot of fun. The Green Pleasure Pier, Avalon. We hope that you watch our peer fishing videos. We have two aims. One aim is to educate people how to be better anglers. And secondly, we hope you entertain you a little bit. Hope you enjoy these films. Watch the films. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And keep watching.